You guys, <laughs> it's already been a morning and I'm filming on my phone again. It keeps breaking cameras. It keeps, I keep, so the person <laughs> whose camera we borrowed watches this, so I have to tell her husband. <laughs> I'll talk to him. I'm going to see if I can get it repaired. No, we can't get it repaired. Yeah, we can. It just depends. on. It's an older can. I don't know. I'll look into it. So that's where we're headed next is Best Buy. Today we're going to... So I wanted to start this out with a little pep in my step, which we did until the camera fell. But we're going to do a little get to know us kind of video. So we'll try and get our little jive going again. We're kind of on edge, or at least I am, so it's bleeding off to him. We just wanted you guys to get to know us a little bit better. We are celebrating our 20th wedding anniversary. So the idea behind this video, we've done a whole how we met, get to know us kind of videos in the past, if I can find them. They're like really old school and they kind of are cringeworthy. I will link them. It could be fun. I know, go watch, watch them. The progression of the channel. And There's, your, yeah. I mean, you know, three camera later after you've like destroyed things. Oh, I have not destroyed cameras. You are being a schmuck. <laughs> this is the only camera that I've broken. The other one that is getting fixed right now. I didn't break it. It was sitting on my desk and I turned it on and it was like the way it was. Part of this video is we also have some photo albums and we're we, gonna have to get up we close We were and digging in the garage, found some buckets and we were like, whoa, look at these things. That's a lot of fun. This is our wedding photo album. And this is a photo album that I had from right before we got married. Probably like the, the first couple years right before we were married. Oh, there's my mom. I know. So we she will- She's small. She is very I small. She's shorter small. than me. I forgot how small she was. <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought we would kind of like, we have some photos of Jason when he was growing up in some of these um, books too. I think they're in the wedding book. I wanted people to get to know him a little bit at our wedding as they sifted through this wedding book. And then we'll show you some from me, from high school and also from college, in and out of when we dated. We wanted to do this video as our 20th anniversary is here and we are about to go on our vacation to Maui to celebrate that anniversary. We just wanted to, you guys to get to know us a little bit better. So make sure you subscribe and click on the notification bell because we are very, very close to going to Maui. Be really fun videos. Really fun videos <laughs> if I have a camera to film them on, which is a different story. We met 24 years ago. I'm not going to dive into the nitty gritty of um, all the details of how we met. We met on a blind date. There's a bunch of guys, just and her. And I was the only girl who showed up. And of course, I was the best guy. He's the only one who asked me out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> So he, yes, we started dating. We dated off and on throughout college. I met him when I was 19 and he was 23, 24. No, no. 24. You're five years older than me. Yes, <laughs> you are. It sounds bad when you say it. I know, it, it sounds bad. really bad. You were in college. Because our daughter is three years away from being 19. Okay, well. That's kind of scary. Hopefully she won't date older guys. <laughs> so I we. Just, you were just in college, so I assume we're the same age. I don't see age. I don't either. <laughs> So we dated all throughout college and then he finally proposed after about a year after we got married. No, after college. I mean, after, yeah, sorry, a year after college. <laughs> I think I proposed after we got married. <laughs> and then we got married and immediately moved here to Seattle. I grew up in Logan, Utah, up north. And he grew up in Alaska, Alaska, in Anchorage. Now, some might not understand why he was in Utah when we he grew up in school. Alaska. We were going to school there at Utah State. So yeah, that's a lot of at. his family is from Utah. His parents grew up in our home, in my hometown. His grandpa lives two miles away from my dad. So, anyways, lots of roots. We went to Utah yeah. State. We met uh, yeah. your freshman year. Your sophomore, sophomore year. year <laughs> you should have I, I, you had a little bit more school in you. But you didn't. Because I went to Japan I on know. a mission. I didn't. I graduated high school. I Tadira. earned to pay for my entire mission. Big mistake. Should have saved the money. And then I went on a mission. And then I came back. Then I had to wait for school to start. So. Okay. We got married 20 years ago, obviously, and moved here to Seattle the day before 9 11. Quite yeah, literally, right. the day before 9 11. I don't know if we've really talked too much about that. 
We drove into town. I've got pictures of um, we were, his truck all we were, loaded up with my stuff. We got into town and I had a final interview with the company that I was supposed to work for and what I moved for. And then 9-11 hit. Yeah, we woke up and we're like, what's going on? Yeah. I don't even, did we even have a TV? Yeah, we had a TV with basic cable with an antenna that dates us. I didn't get that job. So we had yeah. the classic story of $700 to our name. <laughs> so we struggled for the first six months of, of being married and in and out of jobs. He had a job, but it wasn't a career job. And then it took us about six months to a year. We both kind of found our jobs and then kind of took off from there. And then we opened our business. Yeah, we were married three years before we had Kaylee. That's a story in and of itself, but that's kind of the gist of it. Kaylee is 16 and we have a 14 year old, a 11 year old and an eight year old. They're all girls. In case you are new, we have Kaylee, Abby, Ashley. Nope, wrong order. <laughs> Kaylee, yeah, Abby, Abby, Chelsea, Chelsie, and yeah. Ashley. I just oh. said it the wrong order. Also, I need to put my wedding ring on. I took it off to do dishes. It's not even a real ring. ring. It's a fake one from Walmart. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't fit anymore. How many of you have been married for a long time and your wedding ring no longer fits? Leave a comment below. <laughs> you, if you understand, you understand. We have that a shoe was, store that we started. Work, I think I worked a year and a half, two years without a day out. Yeah, he worked, well, six days six a week. Six days a week for A lot of the time you went up on Sunday though. So that is kind of us in a nutshell. I wouldn't do it any other way. Like, I think one of my sisters was asking if I had ever regretted moving here or no. If we had ever thought about like staying there, no. No, I'm I'm a different person and I think a better person having moved away. One, moving away from family changes you and it makes you kind of grow up and, and be on your own a little bit. And two, moving away from Utah was a good move. I think it, it, I grew up in Alaska and uh, even though it was Anchorage, which is the biggest city, and at that time, I think it was 150, 180,000 people, which is like half the population of the state. It still is a small town environment mm -hmm. in a way because you're so isolated in Alaska. So moving away from where you grew up has, I don't know, some psychological little benefits yeah, type thing. Um, whatever, you can live wherever you want to live. There's not a problem with that, but uh, yeah. I think it definitely is different. I'm glad we grew up here. I mean, yeah. Okay, so I thought it would be kind of fun to take you through our some of these photo books just to do something a little bit different. We'll kind of take you through those and kind of go from there. This is the story of my life, you guys. He's what? going through these photos in our wedding book and he's and like, like, I don't have so any like, high school. I don't have any more. This is the epitome. No. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't do all the work for you. You could have asked have my family to give you photos. I mean, I didn't know you were doing this. <laughs> Guys, don't think about putting together photo books for no, a wedding. No, they don't. So don't get mad at me 20 I'm years later. I'm not mad. I'm just like, that we don't you said there were high school you. photos. They're they so are. Cool. These aren't high school. This is like... Well, how am I supposed to know that? You still look like a little pipsqueak. I don't know when, you're, well, when they are. Th this is when we were going to go to Rainier. So that's my brother. Uh, I forget his name. Guy that works with my brother. And then me. And this is us. Going and then this is us climbing. Okay. Uh, a little camp. Me on the summit of Rainier. So. Is this his dad? Pretty yeah. ponytail. Yeah, yeah, I got long hair. That's my sister. sister. That is his mom right there. Yeah. And his dad. Brother and then his brother in law. Me standing funny. And then this is us. Well, uh, practice golfing in St. George. My brother and I just have fun playing golf. And little repelling. This is uh, Mount Hood in December. Total. It's funny that you have like so many details of these kinds of things, but you can't remember a grocery list. Well, some <laughs> important. I know. And then this is Mount Baker with a good friend, Cheryl Nichols, who she's, has passed away. Yeah, she's since passed away. And uh, her friend from work. So this is us going up Mount Baker. That's all we got <laughs> him. <laughs> You should have talked to my family and asked if this can send you uh Okay, we're gonna move on. Because I like to document my life and apparently <laughs> Apparently don't. you don't apparently like to document don't. my life. We'll get back to the beginning of this in just a second. This is Cache Valley. This is where I grew up. I took a lot of courses in college during the summer. Oh, this is my friend Troy from work and my friend Amy. Um, I took a lot of courses in college that needed to be non-business. Um, <laughs> We went hiking a lot. Um, with, these are my coworkers from Wendy's when I worked there. We, Like I said, we went hiking a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of hiking in there. But I took a lot of courses in college 
that needed to be non-business credits. And so I took Primitive Survival Skills 101. They were like one or two credit courses during the summer and they were like the best things ever. I literally went and lived in the woods for a week and we learned like how to make fire out of sticks. These classes were really fun. I'm just gonna take you, take you through a few of these. We just learned um, how to make huts out of sticks and like foliage or whatever. Anyway, this is just really fun. Let me see what other things oh, I did. You went to kayaking class. I did a That's kayaking cool. class. That one was really fun. We sna uh, kayaked the Snake River and the, would it be the Columbia River that meets up with it? I think it goes in, but was it Green River? Oh, there's, maybe. there's several things that connect. Anyway, it. so that's me on my kayak. Oh, can't see it very well. And this was a really fun course. So usually what you did to get credit for the course after you're done is you um, do a little, you could either write a paper about it or you could do a scrapbook, which was right up my alley. So this was actually like, that's why it's all kind of hooked together because it was what I actually turned in as credit for the class. I can see the instructors for a uh, kayaking class yeah. uh, wanting scrapbook options so they don't mm -hmm. have to sit and read. Yeah, and then I did a planetarium <laughs> course. This was like a half a credit. Why'd you have to do all these? So that, are you listening? Oh. Maybe he should rewatch it. Our video. Here's I know you hated all these little credits, but I didn't have to get all these little credits. Because I, I didn't have, I, every course I liked was not, was business. That was, oh. the, I loved those classes and I didn't have very many that I were had business stuff, yeah, related. I had like language stuff that uh, filled This up a is lot a Cutler Marsh. I did one on Avery, like wetlands of Utah. Anyway, we'll kind of skip past some of this. So I also did took a trail stuff. maintenance class. We went hiking. They brought courses up to bring some of our supplies. Then I also did, um, yeah, there's just how to make the trails. And then I also did an Olympic one where we went to Park City and learned about all the Olympic um, features up at the resorts up there, Winter Park. Um, again, I did that one with my friend Amy. She was my little adventurous buddy. And credit was just a 10 page scrapbook. I mean, it was like the easiest course I could ever take. And I got like mini vacations out of it. It was like so fabulous. I also did the mines. Look at that. Take a picture in, of that. Uh, That's in Park City. Oh, that's the mines? Uh-huh. Went down in the cages of the mines. Um, and then I also did, let's see. This looks like, uh, what was it, Bigsby or Bisbee? Arizona. Bisbee, Arizona. Bisbee. That's a cool place. Yeah. You ever down there? Like, a, it's, it's a gym. I also did East meets West. Went out to the train tracks of when the, the first railroad met up in the West. So that one was a fun one. Anyway, so this is just me in college and I had quite... You know what, this is funny because you went to the Browning Firearms Museum. Uh, I'm related to the Browning brothers who started yeah. Browning. That's funny. <laughs> Didn't know that I was going to meet you eventually. Well, you'd already met me at this point. Or marry you, I guess I should say. Marry, yeah. You didn't know that at this point. Nope. <laughs> so I think that is it in this book. So this one is more the uh, wedding stuff, which is... Yeah, and um, I feel bad I didn't have like the ability to... When I, After we got married and I got these photos back, 9-11 kind of was weird. So after we got married, it was... One, we didn't have money. We didn't have jobs. We didn't... Can you not take them out? I know. I mean, this is a good one. You should show this one. Uh, it's just, I don't want to take them out. Like these have never seen like outside I know, of this. I slide it back in. So I didn't have money. I didn't have good jobs. And I didn't want to put a lot of money into like, oh, yeah, we making these into nice books. Yeah, we didn't have But I also books. only had one copy of a lot of this. Like my wedding photographer, you could only get like one print or the proofs. We never actually got the ones from the photographer. A lot of this stuff, I'll show you. It's the only pictures that I have. And so, and then I, I get, and then of our honeymoon, I always dreamed of going back through and making like, cool scrapbook pages of our honeymoon and I just never did. I don't I didn't even get them all put into this binder. They're in the we were, room. We were lucky enough to go to Italy on our honeymoon. Which yeah, is so we'll show you here really quick um, some of our wedding photos and then some of our honeymoon. All right, so here is me in my wedding dress. That is Jason's niece and that is his nephew. Yeah. They're <laughs> like, now She's 20, married and he's in college almost I'm um, done with college by Thanks now. So. These are my flowers. I kind of showed these in another little video. So that is my mom right here. 
And then that's my dad. These are pretty. They look pretty. Nice. Beautiful dress. Well, thank you. Want you. Me to hold it? Yeah. But you don't know where I'm going to aim it at. So, anyway, Jason's nephew. No. Yeah, that would be Greg, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah, wow. So he was teeny tiny when I got married, and uh, I mean, weeks old. I bless her heart for bringing him down to that wedding. Um, these are the and flowers. He's in college now yeah, too. he's in college now too. Um, I talked. Oh, that's my brother and my uh, best friend. That's my good friend growing up. Yeah, his name is his nickname is Buck, but his wife doesn't let him call him that anymore. <laughs> Um, yep, again, they, she was my little flower girl. We didn't really walk down an aisle. That's kind of a different thing. This is my grandpa and my grandma. They are both gone now. I talked about this in my other video, but I will just say a quick little tribute to my friend Gina. She was my hairstylist at my wedding. She did my bridal photos and my wedding photos, like my wedding day. Um, but she's been a hairstyle, my hairstylist since like I was in college, maybe even a little bit in high school. Um, and my mom goes to her as well, or did. And we always just had fun conversations with her. She got to know us, we got to know her, and now she's married with kids. This is who I go see um, to get my hair done still. Jason's wanting to turn the page, I'm not done. Um, but she and I, and my mom and I, and her, had such a good relationship that the day my mom passed away, um, she, um, I'm trying to get through this, but when I called my friend Gina, um, just to let her know that my mom was passing away, I was worried that she had made a hair appointment and that my mom wouldn't show up and I didn't want Gina to worry about her. And I had to let her know she's in the hospital, she's not doing well, might pass away. Well, Gina was in the hospital that day with her daughter. She was one floor below. and. Gina knew how much I had wanted to be there at the end, and so she asked if she could go in my place. So she went and saw my mom <clears throat> with my sisters, my brothers, as in place of me. But she's a special heart, my place in my heart from the day I got married to now. So anyway, and she does really good haircuts. <laughs> all right, yeah, I don't have all of our. Uh, honeymoon pictures in here. Maybe I'll try and grab the bucket and see if I've got some more. Look at that photo cute couple. Because we ended in Venice. This is the last part of our trip. Yeah. Um, but we never did the canal. We were no, too cheap. We, we had the money. <laughs> we were too cheap. <laughs> By the time we got to Venice, we had run out of money. Um, well, a funny story about our honeymoon and being able to go. Um, this is, oh, this yeah, is, I don't know uh, that I have. That's Florence. Oh, that is Florence. Yeah, that's Florence. Um, if you ever get a chance to go to Italy, do it. Mm -hmm. It's just an I heard amazing country. I someone only spending one day in Florence. Nope. No, no, no. Five Florence, days there. Florence is great. Yeah. And we didn't even go into the museum because we didn't have any money. <laughs> His mom. But you can travel around. You can see. There's so many things to do and see yeah. and eat. Um, so the only thing you should do is skip Pisa. Pisa is not worth the effort to get to. It is, but then go out to the coast. We just missed no, the bus. Either direction. So we got stuck there. Skip it. Funny story about our honeymoon and his grandma bribed him to get married to me. We were she already bribe. like, she bribed. If that she, was like a year before I proposed. I know. So she bribed him. If you will just marry this girl, I will pay for your honeymoon. And and we were just like, okay. Okay. You know, okay. You, you so it was his we weren't gonna hold her step to grandma. It. She got married to his grandpa while we were dating. And because his grandma died right the same year that we met. Yeah. And she just fell in love with me. She was just... In Namur, she's like, you gotta snap that girl a up. Spunky she was a very woman. spunky lady. So then, when we did get engaged, and we were talking about where to go on our honeymoon, we, again, we, didn't we have weren't going to bring it up to her. But no, she, she came just to us kept insisting said, on top. I said I would do it, and we're like, you don't have to. You don't have to. You don't have to. And she kept insisting. We're like, well, we're not going to go anywhere. We don't have very mon much money. And she's like, she just grabbed her checkbook. She's like, if you could go anywhere. Where would it be? She's like, you talked about Italy and how you lived in Germany and they were supposed to take you to Italy. You should go to Italy. And I, so we did. And she pulled out the checkbook and she had us call an agent and travel, you know, book it. And yep. she cut the check and paid very for nice. it. An it's very nice. Very nice in her. Great opportunity. I'll show us. you a picture of here really quick. Yeah. So that is Irma, me, and my grandpa. Can you tell that those two are related? 
I don't know. I don't know what it looked a lot <laughs> you like. You can. But you got to see photos of when his grandpa was younger. I mean, they are like spitting images of each other. Mm. And Jason's middle name is named after him. Yeah, named yeah. after him. But Irma was just such a sweetheart. And then this is me with my mom and my twin sister, Erin. This is the last day we were in Logan before we moved. That is us. That is your truck. Truck at the time and, and all packing. our stuff packed up. It took us two days to drive home. We stopped and parked and camped. Yeah, and that then, was cool. That was cool. We like, it was Oh yeah, this is more we, pictures of right before we left. Right before we left. Oh, my nephews right before leaving. And yeah, this is our wedding announcement right here. So yeah, then we left and we took two days to drive home and we got here on September 11th. It was fantastic. Well, we got on the 10th, well, woke up 10th. on the 11th. Yeah. So these are our engagement photos. I have a whole like, frame that has all the rest of our photos in them. And in the earlier, uh, earlier I mentioned Cheryl Nichols, who was on the climb on Mount Baker. She's the one that took these photos. Mm -hmm. They're here in Seattle at a botanical gardens. Yeah. And she since, she passed away two years ago, cancer. Yeah. Looks like longer than that. I know. Two or three years ago, it's been a while. 2020 throws everything out. Yeah. So these are our engagement photos. Adorable kids. I had braces still and I begged my orthodontist to have them taken off for my bridal photos a week before. This is my bridal shower given by friends from church. I gotta make sure you can see them here. Dana and Jason written on the- You had short hair. I did, I had super short hair. Isn't that crazy? Wait, when was that? That was the year, right, it was the summer before we got married. That was at this shower. Then did you grow your my hair? My friend Molly and my twin sister. Did you get longer hair for the wedding? No, she just really did a good job wow. styling it. Uh, these are, I mean, I kept every card uh, that everyone gave us for the wedding and baby showers. Do any of you guys scrapbook if you the do? Baby showers, what am I That's talking awesome. About? I mean, with all the digital stuff now, it's probably a different game. Um, so then we jump through a lot of this and we go back to the few photos of me. Aren't you glad your wife <laughs> has a YouTube channel and documents our life so well? Oh, this must have been at my parents on the 4th of July. Oh no, New no, Year's, that was New, New Year's. Year's. And that behind in the photo is the Space, Space Needle. Needle. They had a condo on Lake Union over yeah. in Seattle. It was great for views and we were mad that they sold it because <laughs> it was fantastic. That is the little nephew That's that was nice. at our wedding. The one, yeah. Yeah, that was laying down. Laying down. Yeah. And this is just yes. before kids. We actually like got out on weekends, and hung it's out with mom. his parents quite a bit. My mom. Um, we can talk about her in a minute. Yeah, we went. We would actually. We went to Canada a couple times. Yep. When with we his had brothers. Time. and we went to Portland a couple times. We just like get a weekend and go and have fun. That was up in Edmonds. That was before kids. Yeah, we were. I wish we had taken more time to go out and explore before we were. We did more stuff. than most. Oh, so, so here's yeah. our woo. -woo. <laughs> our woo. -woo. <laughs> This is you in this college. Is, yeah, this and is us in college. Roommate. No, it's not. This is after college. This is when well, we were engaged. That's right. It's after college. We're, you were living in Salt Lake. No, I wasn't engaged yet. Oh, there's no rock. No rock. Wrong hand. No, no that one has... Is that a ring? Anyway, this is either no. post or, or right after we got engaged. I don't think... No, here's the date. No, I proposed later. That is the temple we got married at. And just the photo. That's like a couple years earlier. Yeah. Um, another uh, bridal friend. shower. These are all like my mamas. When I talk about my mamas from going, growing up, these are all my mamas. That's just one of their daughters. And all these girls are like my girls from growing up. Again, we did a lot yeah. of stuff like hiking and camping and stuff before we had kids. We, we even did of... winter camping, our first winter together. Like here's one. I wonder which hike this was. We just got out quite a bit. Got out. I actually, this may be corny, but I saved all of my airline tickets to come and see him while we were dating. And, cause I came up to Seattle quite a bit. I'm like, you are, I'm like, I saved everything. You were making more money than me. At the time I was, yes, you're But then we're back no, in the back climbing. So anyway, oh, we have not ever talked about this. This is a sealed portion of this binder. When we were dating, he didn't, we broke up the first summer that he, uh, uh, we broke up the first summer he he went back home we to did, Alaska. We did. I we just thought email. there was, a, no, we didn't email that first summer. 
But I just thought like after dating for a couple months that maybe you'd want to call or talk or whatever. I was busy in Alaska. No. <laughs> Zero communication. So we quickly learned the next three summers plus that email communication needed to... And, and you know what? We didn't Honestly, have phones, you guys. This, like, we, we didn't, didn't have phones. Their smartphones didn't exist. They didn't. Um, and email was still kind of mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. newer. Yeah. It wasn't that easy, like, I mean, we had to write letters, really. I mean, you, okay. people were emailing, but it's not like nowadays where... Let me, let me, let me ask. It's not the same. So, what are we reading here? Howie, I, I want to call you, but I'm afraid of the phone bill that my parents might start asking for money. <laughs> you don't need to be paying for our talks, either. You guys, this is back when you paid for your phone, phone calls. Yeah, well, even smart, or if phones of any kind were just barely starting, they were expensive. Yeah. To have, like, a cell phone. Well, so to call someone long distance on the regular phone, it did still like it cost you. Yeah. They don't. It's just not. It's not standard like it is now. So I we learned. I'm just like you're a cute smiley face. We have like I haven't looked at this for twenty I years. Heard. I'm sure I am eloquent in my emails. You are. And I emitted my love through email. Some of them are. Oh, I don't know if I want to read some of them. Why? What? Because we were so cheesy. But some of them, what is the difference between men and government bonds? The bonds mature. <laughs> These are funny. <laughs> These are what jokes. Why are blonde jokes so short? So men can remember them. How many men does it take to change a roll of toilet paper? We don't know. It's never happened. <laughs> Dude, I'm the only one that puts on the roll of toilet no, you're paper. Not. Yes, I am. Give me a break. I I have... I've already changed two this week. When do you care for a man's company? When he owns it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are married women heavier than single women? Single women come home, see what's in the fridge, and go to bed. Married women come home, see what's in bed, and go to the fridge. <laughs> That's so bad. Some of these I can't read. What did God say after creating man? I must be able to do better than that. Woman was created next. That's funny. That's funny. So those are some funny emails, but uh, yeah. I hopefully got to know us a little bit better. We would love to do like live chats or something and answer questions or yeah whatever. i just i, I don't, don't use instagram very well i'm not good at it and that's where you get like your live questions that you can use in the moment for a video because i'm ahead on my channel so if i ask a question like i asked some you guys to give me questions in today's video that we posted today but not enough of you have watched and given me comments like questions that you have for me. So it's- We're still figuring this out. But I hope you're figuring us out. Hopefully that this video helped you a little bit in getting to know us. You'll get to, to know us current day a whole lot more if you click subscribe and come and join us. We actually love our viewers. We love commenting. Um, we're about to meet some of to you. Know, yeah, we're gonna meet somebody. Mm-hmm. Lydia. So we really appreciate yeah. you watching. We really appreciate you. I love the comments. I haven't been as good lately because I've been busy with work, but I like to comment and I feel like I get to know more of you better when I get to comment. Whatever, yeah, we appreciate it. Thanks for watching and enjoying the channel. Come back for more. Join us for Maui. Maui, 20 years. <laughs> Coming at you really soon. Take care. We'll see you guys soon.